Good morning, everyone. For Telesur, I'm Cody Weddle in Caracas, Venezuela. We begin today in Colombia, where President Juan Manuel Santos took to national television Monday to explain why peace talks with the FARC guerrilla group have been put on hold. Manuel Santos suspended the peace negotiations yesterday after Army General Ruben Darío Alzate went missing in a rebel hot zone. The guerrilla group has been accused of kidnapping the general, something FARC leaders vehemently deny. Witnesses in the area say the general appeared to enter into FARC control willingly. FARC peace negotiators in Havana, Cuba are expected to release a statement later this Tuesday. Las FARC son responsables de su integridad física y deben... The FARC are responsible for the general's well-being, and he should be returned immediately. Colombians demand his release. This is the moment we show a commitment to the peace process. While the situation is unresolved, I reiterate that government negotiators will not travel to Havana to restart the talks. Esta situación no se solucione, oígase bien, mientras esta situación no se solucione... Les he reiterado a los negociadores del gobierno. Testimonies by witnesses suggest that the FARC did not actually kidnap General Alzate. The FARC has also not taken responsibility for the disappearance. Now, despite that, President Manuel, Manuel Santos continues to insist that the rebels free Alzate and two others. Here's our correspondent, Charles Parkinson. Colombian President Juan Manuel Santos abruptly suspended the country's two-year-old peace talks with the Revolutionary Armed Forces of Colombia on November 16th, following the detention of General Ruben Daria Alzate in the western coastal region of Chocó. His alleged capture at the hands of the guerrillas alongside a military sub-official and a lawyer came two days before the latest cycle of peace talks was due to begin on November 18th. It must be said that the measure taken by President Juan Manuel Santos to suspend the talks does not correspond with the spirit of the agreement in Havana because the agreement of Havana is that they will speak in the midst of the conflict and these are acts of the conflict. The government has called on the Red Cross to negotiate the release of General Alzate, yet neither they nor the FARC have confirmed whether he and his companions are in the custody of the guerrillas. For the moment, what we do as the International Committee of the Red Cross is initiate our operations and facilitation to see if it is possible to advance the operation. But for the moment, we cannot confirm that information. Meanwhile, President Juan Manuel Santos has publicly asked for his Minister of Defense, Juan Carlos Pinzon, to account for why a general was traveling in an area with a known heavy guerrilla presence, dressed as a civilian and without his bodyguards. The decision of this general, himself a former head of the Army's anti kidnapping division to go against standard military security protocol and travel unprotected and in civilian clothing has raised many suspicions over his motives and the government will have to provide concrete answers. Charles Parkinson, Telesur in Bogota, Colombia. And thanks to Charles. Meanwhile, Colombian citizens plan to take to the streets later this week to urge the continuation of the peace talks. Colombians have demanded peace in the country for years, seeking an end to the 50-year civil war that has seen thousands killed and millions displaced from their homes. The current peace talks between the FARC and the government in Havana, Cuba, have been the most successful so far. Processors plan to take to the streets on Wednesday in protest of the president's decision to suspend the talks.